back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a pretty different video for you guys. Something that I've been thinking about for a while now. And it's something that I wanted to put on the channel. I want to be able to look back at this video and be like, yeah, I stayed along those lines. Or maybe I broke away from those lines. Or maybe I completed those lines. Maybe I didn't quite make it. I want to be able to look back at this video at the end of the year and see if we approached any closer. You know, how close did we get to these goals that we're going to talk about here today? I want this video to serve as sort of a staple or, or a stamp in time where I put my collecting goals out there and then I can refer back to them in a year or so or maybe at the end of 2022 I can look back at this video and say yeah I, I made a dent in that goal I did this I accomplished that didn't quite get there on that and I don't know if I'll complete any of these this year you know it's it's one of those things that's a steady growth you know when you're collecting things are coming out from the toy companies you're selling things from your own collection things are moving lots of moving parts and things of that nature and so today I'm gonna go through my personal collecting goals for what I want to collect in my collection and kind of build on that and talk to you guys about that. Maybe you guys have similar things. Maybe you feel completely different. Maybe you don't have any collecting goals. You just kind of buy what you like. And that's, I think that's what a lot of people do, right? They just say, yeah, I'm just going to buy what I like. And that's probably the smartest way to do so. But sometimes I, I, I used to be one of those that did that, right? I would just buy the figures I like and I would just go about that. But today I'm going to get into the super specific stuff. Like this is like down to the last detail or, or a little bit more intricate than just buying the things that I like things that I would like to see in the future for the collection and, and things I'd like to display and things of that nature, man. So let's just shut the hell up and dive into my personal collecting goals or things for my action figure collection as a whole. And we're going to start off at the very top, man. The first one ever, and it's one that a lot of people think is not possible. A, a one that one that I think a few people out there are trying to do, but I, 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 I'm one of them. I'm trying my best to do so, and that is an AEW action figure completionist. So what that means is I'm trying to to obtain every single thing that comes out in the AEW figure line. Now, I'm not just saying every Unrivaled figure, man. I'm talking about the Unrivaled series, the Unmatched series, the Supreme Collection, the exclusives, like all that different stuff. I'm trying to even take it a step further and get those variants, like not only the Chase variants. Yes, I do want the Chase variants. Eventually, again, like little by little, like to chip away at that. I'm not saying this is all things that I'll have accomplished in a year's time or, or whatever the case is. I'm missing some holes right now. I'm not completely caught up right now, but this is something that I want to work towards in the future whenever the line ends or whatever the case is. Now the thing where it gets tricky is is if the AEW line goes 10 years like freaking WWE Elites and Mattel which is totally possible you know how will that look? What would that look like? So that will be something to definitely look at in the future for sure as we take a look at this collection as it goes on year by year but I'm talking about I'm trying to get the weapon packs I'm trying to get the rings I'm trying to get all those different things man so we will see how all those things take place but right now we're, we're on pretty decent track right now. Again I do have holes in the collection right now, but I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. I think once we get a new house and I have more room to not only display figures, but store figures away that are not, you know, completely on display, that will be very nice. But that's the first one, man. I want to be an AEW action figure line completionist. I may look at that. Another thing is I may look back at this video and be like, what the hell was I thinking? So that could actually, that, that could take place as well. Number two is kind of a long shot and it's not something that like I'm super like hardcore passionate about at the moment and like I'm trying to just go for. Like, I don't have a checklist of all of this, and I'm checking them off one by one. I think Bretto Live is doing this, but I want to obtain every single WWE Elite figure ever. Now, that is every single Elite. Like, I would like it to be loose. Of course, I don't really care if it's mock or not. I would just like to have one copy of every WWE Elite. I think that would be really sick. I think, you know, it would do wonder. Like, it would look just good with the channel. You know, this channel is all about wrestling figures and AEW and WWE figures, especially in the modern era, and I think it would be cool to have all the WWE elites from first series all the way to current day. That would be really, really sick. I don't know how you display that, especially like with limited room, but I would imagine like if you had a big wall or something like that, and you could just, you know what I'm saying, line the walls with every single elite like in order by series or something like that. Not saying it's realistic, man. I'm just saying how sick would that be if you could take up a whole wall of a massive basement with every loose elite, if you displayed them like I have my shelves and it was just tick, 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 tick down the wall. I think that'd be unbelievable. Now, will that be obtainable? I'm not sure. It's just something that I've thought about. And uh, one of those long-term goals for my collection would be to have every WWE Elite ever. I know that I'm not even close right now, right? I'm, I have a ton of holes, but I'm talking long-term goals, something that would be cool in the future that is out there, man. I would love to have every WWE Elite ever. Now, to be honest with you, those first two right there are goals that are out there. You know, they're long-term goals. They're things that may or may not happen. They may not be quite realistic, but they're things I think about at night time at 3 a.m. 
Now, coming in at number three is going to be a mock set of the WWE Ultimate Edition line. Now, I'm behind on this one. This is one that I've kind of been weighing on. I wish I would have really thought about this at the very beginning. I don't know why I didn't, but I think it would be really sick to have a men on card and loose collection of the WWE Ultimate Edition line. They look really good. It's the best wave of WWE Mattel products out there, and they're really beautiful to see. I would love to have all of them on display, really clean like up on the shelf there, all in order there. Something that uh, is another long-term goal again. I do have a pretty decent amount of them mint on card. I do, I have all of them loose, so that's something that I have on T. It's just getting that extra mock one and things like that, so that's kind of what I've run into. I'm trying to catch back up on the mock set. I do have a complete loose set right now, but I am trying to catch up with those mock ones. Just have to go back and get some of those ones that are harder to obtain, and then, you know, I, I feel like a lot of them are still floating around retail or just above retail, so you gotta get your hands on those first few series that are a little bit harder to track down. Since we're not that far into the line, there's only two figures per line. Really nice start there, but uh, we are catching up, but it would be really cool to have a WWE Ultimate Edition set, mock and loose. Now, number four is something that I've never really put any thought into. I wish I would have. Again, these are things that, like, I, I, my, my passion for action figure collecting has really expanded in 2022. Like, I've always been a loose action figure collector and loved posing them around and doing all of those things, and that part of me is still here for sure, but the other collector side of me that's, like, love to look at figures in the package and display and try to, you know, complete that set side of me has really blossomed in the year of 2022, and it's been uh, kind of challenging trying to go back and complete some of these things and trying to obtain some parts that I have fallen in love with. But number four is going to be a John Cena mock collection. So this is every John Cena Elite men on card. As you guys know, John Cena is my favorite of all time, so I, I don't want every single John Cena. They make a basic every other wave. That is something that I do not want to do. Like, would it be cool to see them all lined up from, you know, the first basic series, whatever? Yes, it would be freaking awesome. That would be beautiful to look at, but I'm just looking at elites and ultimates and, and things like that. I wouldn't want any basics or battle packs. Totally absurd. But John Cena Elite figures would be really cool to see mint on card, especially to display right next to my loose John Cena collection, which is a whole nother deal that we've tackled in previous, in previous videos before. You guys know that I have the massive box of John Cena Elite loose on the floor, and then I have my timeline John Cena collection up there with all the hats, t-shirts, looks that he's ever rocked, even ones that Mattel has never released, and I'm sure that we will get some of those as we trickle out here, but I would love to have a fig a loose collection of Cena in every look that he's ever rocked to the ring. That's something we've discussed, and I just think it would be so badass to have that loose collection right up next to that Mock Elite collection, so that would be something that I would love to see. Now, the next goal is kind of a bit of a stretch, but just some Mock figures of some of my favorite guys' best figure ever. So just an example of this would be the cash-in Toys R Us exclusive Mock Seth Rollins, so I would say that one, and then, you know, like the Defining Moments Chris Jericho that my buddy Rob sent me, the Entrance Greats Kurt Angle, the Ultimate Edition Stone Cold Steve Austin. You know, it's like some of my favorite guys to ever do it in wrestling, to have a mock figure of each one of those guys to hang up on the wall would be really cool, I think. So that's another that's another thing that I would want to do. I don't know if I'll ever bite into that, but that's just, again, This is these are the things that I think about at 3 a.m. that would be really cool. And I think, like, just having that conglomerate of figures to kind of represent that would be really really awesome so i think that would be a cool a cool addition next up is a miscellaneous shelf featuring like all of the things that i love in figure form so this would include like animated series batman just one you know one animated series batman you know my hitman figure my george washington figure my own figure my wife's figure you know all those different things like just a miscellaneous shelf you know featuring all of like the things outside of wrestling that i love right there front and center now this isn't including like marvel legends and mcu and stuff like that that would be on their own kind of shelves and looks. Up next, guys, is going to be a mint on card and loose collection of the retro carded Spider-Man Marvel Legends set. Now, this is not like every retro figure, so I'm not including the one-off retro carded ones or the ones, you know, like the Scarlet Spider. Like, it would be cool to have that mint on card, but that's not one of the ones that I'm trying to add, even though I do love Scarlet Spider. If I came across a crazy deal, I probably would buy it, but that sort of, not just retro carded, right? I don't want just the retro cards, just the specific Spider-Man way Waves. You guys know they've released two waves and then they have their exclusives and things of that nature. Those are really the only ones that I'm talking about. I always love the 90s animated Spider-Man series. And so any figure or Marvel Legends that releases in that packaging, I'm going to try and track that down. Any Marvel Legends figure that releases that I think would tie into that show or has a certain look of a character from that show, probably going to get it for a display shelf of all of those pieces. It's something that I held off on way too long, man. And like, again, this is what I was talking about in yesterday's video. 
is with Marvel Legends, I used to collect them back before I started my channel. And then after I started my channel, I think I sold off my entire Marvel Legends collection to kind of kickstart the channel. And when I did that, I kind of tried to vow never to try and dive back into that because I knew that there would be so many figures, there would be so many characters that I love. Like, I have my favorite guys, of course. Iron Man, Punisher, Spider-Man, Wolverine. That's probably my top four. But I knew that, they, that figures like that would come where I just would be in love with them. And then I knew if I dove off the cliff there there'd be no stopping me and it would be really dangerous for me and so I put it off for a very long time and they kept releasing stuff and they kept releasing stuff and then the articulation is getting better and then the cards are getting better and like the likenesses are getting better and my love for these things is growing and so it's just one of those things where I guess I'm gonna dip my foot in the pool we'll see how it goes and you know th this gets me into kind of my Marvel Legends side of the collection and so I would love to collect every Wolverine every Punisher not like every like villain and stuff like that just the looks of the specific character so you know wolverine punisher uh i don't know about spider-man there's some spider-man looks that i don't really care for or anything like that but again if they have to do with the animated series if they kind of can look like that or if i can make shift them into an animated series and kind of fit them into that look that i want then maybe that would be something that i consider but i love the retro cards i think that like the throwback to the toy biz look is just beautiful and i love it mint on cards so that is something that i'm going to try to complete mock and loose there and again trying to get other Marvel Legends to fit into that scene that I'm trying to make on the shelf. Maybe something that I look into, but that's where I stand with Marvel Legends. And of course, Iron Man figures from the MCU, Spider-Man from the MCU. Uh, when they drop No Way Home figures and, you know, future releases of Spider-Man figures, I will be grabbing all of those. So any MCU characters that I like, I will be grabbing for shelves and stuff. And uh, I plan on when we, getting, when we get the new house and we get, you know, a nice a bigger room for the collection, I hope to have all these things displayed out very nicely. And that should be something that we work on there but yes all the all the punisher figs of frank castle i might dive into a few villains here and there i, I guess that'll be something that we tackle when we come to it but as far as men on card i'm not going for a lot of men on card with marvel legends just because it's crazy just the retro carded spider-man stuff at least at this juncture it may change in the future but that is something that uh, we may look into there if that expands i'll let you guys know but i think that's pretty much where i stand you know uh, i am going to get every green goblin figure i do have the hot toys green goblin on pre-order so so that'll be something that I dive into. I love the Green Goblin. I love, you know, Willem Dafoe's portrayal of him. So those, that figure right there is something that I'm going to try. To, that is something that I would like to display. So yeah, these are just, uh, yeah, these are just the goals that I can think of off the top of my head that I would like to add to the collection. Of course, these goals may shrink down. They may grow larger. We have to see, you know, how those things go. Maybe I can reassess in a few months and say, yeah, maybe I don't need to do that. Or maybe, you know, this is something that we can continue to do. And things will continue to leave and go from the collection as we go. But, uh, yeah, man, that's pretty much my goals for my action figure collection, at least at this juncture, man. And of course, they can change, but figured I'd get on here, man. I would love to know down in the comment section below what your collecting goals are or things of that nature. Of course, I will continue to get all the new WWE Elite sets, all the new WWE Ultimate Editions as they come out, the reviews and things like that. So like my collecting goals kind of go hand in hand with the channel because I do want to review things for you guys. So those things kind of mesh up well. So that helps me out. But that is going to wrap up this video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know what you think of my goals down in the comment section below. I know they're nutty. They're pretty damn crazy to be honest with you, but you know, I'm a crazy fool. I have eight or nine of the same WWE figure over and over again. And I also forgot, like, I guess I would like to complete this retro collection that I have here, but I don't know. That may be a set that I move one day. Who knows? You know, I, I do have the new uh, Mattel Creations four pack that is mint on card in the closet there. So I don't know. I, I, I guess I, I maybe I would complete it one day if I could find them all together and buy it in one lot maybe, or maybe slowly knock them out one by one over time, but those figures are getting more and more expensive by the daily, but I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much. Let me know your collecting goals down in the comment section below, and don't cross the line like me by making all these atrocious goals and, and, and making myself a madman. You cross the line, I've been